Good morning, people. This is Thunder, the Desert Shaman, elder of the Campfire Council. Let's talk about this term hate speech because that's coming up a lot lately. And I want everybody to know just exactly what's going on here in regards to that term, terminology, phrase, whatever you want to call it. Hate speech is an oxymoron in a way. Hate speech is a ploy. Hate speech is a hoax. Okay, the term hate speech. It's been coming up a lot lately and it's a term that's propagated by the media. And I've done a lot of research in the last couple of days because I've been sparring with people on the internet about this. And I can see which way the wind's blowing with this. Let's start off by looking up the word hate first and defining what hate is. Now I went to my good old Merriam-Webster dictionary and I looked up the definition of hate and what it said was uh, disliking something uh, intensely, uh, a revulsion for something, a contempt for something, and so is that bad? Is it bad to have a revulsion for something or a contempt for something or to speak out on something that you may have a contempt for? Is this speech that should be limited? So if you go into the origins of hate speech and uh, where it came from and how it's been used in the past, then you realize what the fuck's going on here. And I'll tell you what's going on. First of all, as I said, the definition is having a contempt for something or a revulsion of something. Now, let's take an example here. Let's say that uh, you have an intense dislike for pedophilia. Or let's say you have an intense dislike for uh, the people that butchered the... Uh, native people of this land or let's say you have a contempt for warmongering is that bad well hell no it's not bad and you should be able to speak out upon uh, about it okay and you should be able to quote unquote hate it if you so desire you should be able to speak out freely now what the media has done is they've co-opted this term, okay, and the deep state, they know exactly what they're doing with this. They're using it to conquer and divide. They're using it to cause a division amongst people in this country. And it has to do with uh, muzzling your uh, freedom of speech or being labeled a domestic terrorist or being labeled a uh, hate monger for speaking what you feel or speaking about things that are, are revulsive to you or you have contempt for it's okay to have contempt for things it's okay by the definition of hate which again is a revulsion for or a strong dislike for. It's all right to dislike things. It's, so then uh, is, should hate speech and uh, by terms of that definition be outlawed? Well, hell no. And so as uh, George Orwell pointed out in his book 1984, there will be a lot of people uh, with the uh, powers to be, the cabal, the elite, the deep state, whatever you want to call them, the psychotic idiots that are running the show or are trying to run the show, they will co-opt this word and they will turn it into doublespeak. They will make the word hate a bad word, okay? I'm surprised they're not trying to take it out of the dictionary. Hate is not a bad word. Hate, love, uh, contempt, revulsion, they're all just words that express certain feelings. So what you're going to find out is going to be happening here is that anybody that speaks out or has contempt for a revulsion for the way things are operating, let's say with the government, and they're freaking warmongering, okay, 
and the media with their uh, lies and uh, propaganda about everything. So what they're trying, you know, if you speak out against that, then uh, you're labeled a, a, a using hate speech. Now what they've done, what the media done, has co-opted this and to turn and has turned it, the word hate into uh, into an action, uh, into uh, what they they would call a violent action. Okay, hate in itself is not a violent action. Having contempt for is not a violent action. It's a feeling, it's a thought, okay? And it's a healthy thought to realize what is good and what is evil, okay? And what you have contempt for and what you have a revulsion for. There is nothing wrong with this, but the media has co-opted this term hate and connected it with another word, speech, to indicate that you're some kind of racist, okay, or that you're perpetuating uh, terrorism. There's another word that has no particular meaning. Terrorism, it's nebulous. What is a terrorist? What is a domestic terrorist? You need to think about these things, people, because they use nebulous words uh, so that they can cover your actions or uh, restrict your actions or limit your actions by labeling you. By labeling you for speaking your mind, by labeling you for speaking out, by labeling you for uh, using a word that they don't uh, particularly like anymore. Now when they link the word hate with speech, uh, they're saying that you're committing a violent act. You're not committing a violent act. Everybody has the right to speak out. Okay, and I'm talking about the Constitution here. Now, I'm a native, and I don't particularly like politicians, and I don't particularly like what the European man did to the uh, natives of this land, and I have contempt for that, and I have uh, uh, feelings of uh, revulsion for the murderous acts that they committed and the murderous acts that they're still committing. So does that make me a bad person? Does that make me a racist? Does that make me uh, some kind of domestic terrorist? Or anybody that says that for that matter? Well, no, it doesn't. And I'm sick and tired of these people talking about, oh, but the Patriot Act. Let's get into that aspect for a minute here. Let's talk about patriotism. Let's talk, never mind that this country was built on genocide. Let's just try to look what the Founding Fathers had in mind when they wrote the Constitution of the United States. Some of them had good hearts. Some of them uh, realized where this could all go. Some of them realized that this could all go to, uh, to hell. Okay, The government, the control by the government, the agenda of the government. Because they were, the founding fathers of this land were under a tyranny, okay? And that's why they penned the document of the Constitution, and that's why they put in amendments like the First Amendment and the Fourth Amendment. The first being freedom of speech. Read the First Amendment. doesn't say anything about hate speech or love speech. or It just says freedom of expression. So that's what we are supposed to be able to do in this country. Hello? Freedom of expression, okay? We can say anything we want to anybody. Uh, there are certain limitations that I uh, respect as, uh, let's say, you don't want to go up to a black person and uh, issue a racial epitaph. You don't want to... Uh, start a fight and that that's the only thing that the constitution really uh or or law since the constitution uh really talks about is that you don't want to uh you don't want to shout fire in a in a crowded theater when there is none you don't want to uh go up to a person's face and antagonize them to the point of uh having a fist fight that is something that we all realized, okay? 
But this other th uh, shit that they're trying to bring up now about not being able to say how you feel or speak about how you feel is a hoax. It's a CIA uh, plot through the media to uh, demonize people, to demonize movements, to demonize certain groups of people that have a feeling about the government. Let's not forget here the Constitution also gave us the right to bear arms, which is the Second Amendment, in case government got the fuck out of hand, which it has, okay, which it is doing right now. They are fomenting a race war. They have co-opted the media. They have co-opted the Democratic Party. They've co-opted the Republican Party, the neocons and that. There is no sides here. They're only uh, creating sides through their, uh, their dialogue, okay? And that dialogue is propagated through the media, okay? And this is one of the oldest tricks in the book. I keep telling people, there's two kinds of patriots. If you want to get down to the uh, patriot angle, there's two kinds of patriots. There's the patriots that are jingoists, and the definition of that is people that scream and yell and talk about my country, right or wrong, and uh, if you don't like this country, leave it, and uh, all that bullshit, okay? And then there's the patriot that is uh, more in line with what the Constitution uh, has to say. Uh, and wanting to live by what the founding fathers of this country had to say, which is more to me, the latter is a true patriot. Okay? So, you have to look at that aspect of it too. You have to look at it, you have to look at the big picture here. You can't just look at one little thing to get, uh, to, to get a grasp on what this is all about. See, they don't like true patriots. The government, the powers to be, the, the, the powers to be, I'll get that out, are wanting to cause a division in this land. They've actually overthrown the Constitution and the First Amendment and the Fourth Amendment and all that shit with this uh, whole, whole bunch of crap that started during 9-11, right after 9-11, which was an inside job by our government or certain people in our government to create a war on terrorism, okay, and to create a war on uh, Middle Eastern countries and to invade Middle Eastern countries like Iraq and Libya and Syria to do some land grabbing and to do some resource grabbing. That's what it's all about, people. 9-11, false flag, uh, what happened right after that? Everybody was weak, everybody was scared, everybody was thinking, oh my God, we're being attacked. So that was the perfect opportunity for them to introduce things such as the Patriot Act. Well, the Patriot Act is bogus. The Patriot Act is a worthless piece of paper as far as the Constitution goes, because it tries to replace what the Founding Fathers said in the con Constitution, and it tries to institute all kinds of things that are a violation of the First Amendment and Fourth Amendment. Fourth Amendment is the right to privacy and the right to uh, not have your uh, personal space invaded. And the Founding Fathers knew what the fuck they were doing because they had their personal space invaded by Britain. They had uh, British troops coming in uh, and uh, billeting themselves in houses and uh, taking people's houses over and searching their belongings. So they knew what they were doing. They knew about tyranny. So this whole thing about hate speech is, as I said before, it's like George Orwell talked about when he said that there is going to be double speak. Okay, big brother, double speak. What is double speak? Well, double speak is assigning a different meaning to a word that has other meanings, like hate. Okay, 
And what they're doing is they're assigning the meaning of uh, hate is violence, hate is terrorism, hate is uh, uh, racial uh, bigotry, okay? And there's a whole movement going on right now, and it has to do with Trump also, where they're trying to brand him as some kind of leader of some kind of white nationalist movement, which is just a crock of shit. It's just part of the deep state, the Democrats, the, the left, the alt-left, uh, perpetrating heat and discontent, riots, uh, using groups like Antifa, okay, Antifa, which is a supposedly an anti-fascist group, of, but in reality they're more fascist than you could, they're more of a terrorist, they're more communist or whatever you want to call it, uh, they're a radical, violent group that goes in and is, uh, has been co-opted or organized by people like George Soros and the, the elite and the left to cause problems with uh, peaceful protests. Now you have the right to, okay, you have the uh, people that are Nazi sympathizers, a KKK or whatever, but they have a right to free speech and if they go get a permit to go in a park and talk about uh, their grievances remember the Constitution says you have the right to address grievances if the white man feels like uh, he's being overwhelmed then he has the right to address that grievance he has the right to speak his mind now you can call him anything you want but let's put it this way, any white man today, and I, this is a red man here talking, okay? I don't have a particularly soft spot in my heart for the European man that uh, massacred my people, but I don't want to see history repeat itself in any way, shape, or form, okay? And so if the white man feels disenfranchised as the native man did at one time, and if he feels threatened because of the influx of uh, a different sort of people or a different uh, a different race uh, then he has the right to speak out about it is he always right well no but he has the freaking right to speak out about it and he has the right to free speech so when uh, these so-called white people that are being demonized now it's, it's really funny because now the white man's being demonized it's it's not so funny but it shows how uh, how the mother will eat its young sometimes will turn on those that are uh, part of their family or part of their movement or agenda or manifest destiny or whatever. These people have no morals. So the white man has a right to speak out. He has a right to have demonstrations without groups like Antifa coming in and assaulting them. Now, if Antifa wants to come in and do a peaceful protest against that other protest, that's fine. But when they start uh, wearing black masks and black outfits and uh, bringing in baseball bats and uh, even guns and Molotov cocktails and all that shit, and using them, I'm not talking about just bringing them in as a show, uh, showy display, but I mean using them. And that's what happened in Charlottesville. That's what happened at Berkeley. They are a fanatical terrorist group. You want to talk about terrorists? There's actions by them. It's not just speech, okay? So you need to open your eyes here, people, and you need to see what's going on. This stuff is coming directly out of the Unconventional Warfare Manual. Have you ever read the Unconventional Warfare Manual uh, for the uh, United States Army or the CIA? Or uh, I suggest you go to Google, okay? And I suggest that you type in Unconventional Warfare Manual and pull up the PDF. It's 248 pages long. And you read that sucker. And you read 
the deepest, darkest depths of what these people will do and what, the, what they will uh, try to initiate in other countries, supposedly, quote unquote, this was written uh, to overthrow other countries and over regimes, which in itself ain't too cool, is it? How to infiltrate, how to turn one person against the other, how to uh, co-opt the media, how to take over the media, how to uh, get other people to murder, how to conquer and divide. I mean, you go through that book, it'll stand your hair on end. And this is in, in, in you need to do that to realize what the fuck these people are doing to you. You need to do that. And this whole hate speech thing, it's a double speak, it's a hoax. There's nothing wrong with hate by the definition. If you have revulsion, if you have contempt for something, and they label that as hate, what is hate is not that bad a word, is it? It's a descriptive word that describes uh, your feelings towards something. That's all it is. It's not violence in itself, okay? It's not violence. It's not an act. It's not a physical act. So they're using this right now to clamp down on our free speech, Okay, free speech includes all speech, all forms of speech, hate speech, love speech, uh, comedy speech, words that come out of your mouth, expressions that come out of your mouth. Since when is it wrong to dislike something? Since when is it wrong to speak your dislike about something? And you know, when they developed the Patriot Act, again, this is a bogus piece of paper. Uh, it was renewed by Obama. It was supposed to be uh, something that was incorporated just after 9-11 to protect the people of the United States. See, that's when they slip shit in there. That's when they slip stuff in, is when uh, people are freaked out, uh, scared, uh, want protection, and so they go, oh yeah, Patriot Act, yeah, we need that, we need the Patriot Act. Do they bother to read this shit? Do they bother to see that it erodes the Constitution big time? Do they bo bother to see that uh, it violates their First Amendment and uh, Fourth Amendment and their, their basic uh, Bill of Rights, constitutional rights? That's what's wrong with people out here, is that they, they listen to the media they get brainwashed by the media. They get, uh, and they know how to brainwash you. They know how to make something, uh, make black look like white and white look like black. So if you don't realize what's going on, people, you're in for a uh, bad time ahead. You're in for your complete loss of freedoms. Oh, but as long as I feel secure, as long as I feel secure, then I feel good. I'll give up some of my freedoms. Oh, really? What a fool. What a fool. Don't even buy into that mindset. Giving up your freedoms to have somebody else protect you. Because they're not protecting you. They're out to uh, exterminate you. Okay? And so all these people that are going, Oh, that's racist. And oh, that's hate speech. And oh... Trump is the leader of, uh, of some Nazi movement. This, this could not be farther from the truth. Uh, the only thing that they're doing right now is they're using Trump as a uh, scapegoat. They're using Trump to uh, divide the country. Uh, they're, they're attacking a sitting president. Uh, that in itself is treason, okay? It's a treasonous act to uh, try to undermine and attack a sitting president from day one. Now, am I a, a, a political person? No, not really. And I didn't vote for Trump. I just sit around and watch shit happen, and I look at the lesser of the two evils. And I can see right now, I'll tell you who the lesser of the two evils is. It is Trump. He's in office. He's trying to do some good things. He tried to reach out to Russia, and they demonized uh, the whole thing with Russia to make it hard on him to do that. He's up against it, okay? And if uh, he's not really a politician, he's a businessman. 
Does he do things, a lot of things that are wrong, or uh, I think he has his head up his ass? Well, hell yes, I, I think that. There's no, uh, <laughs> when you're talking about politicians, uh, that's kind of self-explanatory anyway. But what I'm against is the people on the left, and it is the people on the left, or maybe it's, uh, it is the people on the left. It seems to be coming from that area as far as I can determine. That uh, the Democrats uh, and the neocons, too, they're teaming up. See, there is really, there is no left and right. When you get right down to it, there's only those that are behind the scenes that are controlling your perception of the left and right. That's an old trick. It's a CIA trick. It's a covert ops trick. They do it when they go in. Like I said, uh, you read the Unconventional Warfare Manual. They do it when they go into other countries. They have color revolutions. They, have, uh, they, they, they always uh, frame it as some kind of democratic thing. In reality, it's a covert op is what it is. I have been close to the uh, special operations community, so I know this shit firsthand. Trust me. How do you think I knew about the Unconventional Warfare Manual? How do you think I know some of these things? Because I've been inside that community and I know what it's like. I know people in it, okay? And there's some good people and there's some bad people. So you need to listen up to what I'm saying here and, and uh, Listen to every word I'm saying because I have your best interests at heart. This country to me is a sick country right now. It's a sick country. It's uh, basically there is no constitution of the founding fathers. They, they, that's just something that people uh, give lip service to. It doesn't really exist anymore. Can you get it back? Well, maybe. But then on the other hand, uh, you might not, okay, because it's might have gone too far already. Let me tell you something else that I've been pondering on is this uh, Hurricane Harvey in Texas, which proved to be these uh, media globalists and the, the globalists uh, that are talking about how, everybody, how there's a racial division in this country. Uh, you look at people when they're in a hard time, when they're in a catastrophic situation like Hurricane Harvey, and you see blacks helping whites, you see Hispanics helping blacks, you see whites helping blacks, everybody is pulling together down there in Texas. And my heart and prayers go out to those people. You see everybody pulling together. Where's the race war here? Where's the racial division here? When time, when the shit hits the fan, people have a tendency to work together. They have a tendency to reach out to their brother. All that shit just kind of fades away. But is the media covering the fact that uh, whites are helping blacks and uh, Hispanics and uh, everybody's in this... Uh, thing together and uh, wow isn't it amazing do you hear the media saying anything like that you hear the media saying wow it's really great maybe the the racial situation in this country isn't so bad let's look at uh, Hurricane Harvey let's look at uh, how these people are reaching out that's the true spirit of brotherhood in America are they saying this kind of shit fuck no they're not they're ignoring it why because it doesn't fit their agenda it doesn't fit their agenda of racial divide. It doesn't fit their agenda of civil fucking war. And I'm sick of these psycho wackos, okay? And I know what their mentality is uh, that are co-opting and propagating division. And they want a civil war. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for the hate speech thing. You could say anything fucking thing you want okay and if you can't well there's a big problem isn't there so quit being mousy and quit being oh uh, we we need our we need to be protected protected by who 
a friggin government that are terrorists in themselves a friggin government that propagated uh, terrorism in the Middle East because when 9-11 came and they created their war on terror well hell there wasn't enough terrorists over there uh, so that they can invade that country so what they do they created terrorists Obama and Hillary Secretary of State created ISIS they created a militant group in the Middle East and planted them in Syria and planted them in Iraq so that then they could fulfill their uh, Patriot Act decree of uh, having some kind of enemy and terrorism is not a person let's not forget that terrorism is not a person it's not a state it's not a uh, government it's not another country terrorism is a, a nebulous term that they can apply anywhere at any time you think these people aren't smart they didn't they didn't want an enemy that was definable they wanted an enemy that couldn't be defined so that they could use it anywhere and now where are they using it well they're using it in this country they're using it in this country to divide people here, to create a race war, to create heat and discontent, to create animosity, to create violence. And you got people like George Soros. Let me repeat that. George Soros, who is fomenting through his billions of dollars and funding why hasn't he been arrested okay why hasn't hillary and those people that have uh, committed so many crimes and why hasn't susan rice and why hasn't the list goes on and on and on about people that have violated the law here have done treasonous acts according to the constitution if i have any uh, criticism of Trump is that he's not being strong enough. He's not arresting people. He's not firing Mueller. He's not firing these people that he knows are deep state and have an agenda against him, which makes me scratch my head sometimes. Doesn't he have the same information I have? So am I 100% uh, behind uh, whatever politician? No. I'm behind somebody that comes out, speaks truth. Now, Trump is speaking truth about the fake media, which is a term that backfired on them, another term that they drummed up to uh, describe the alternative media, which is people like me. Oh, that's fake news. Guess what? It backfired on them when Trump came out and said, you're fake news. They didn't expect that. And their ratings are going down and people are waking up although that's not fast enough all these people that are uh, sleepers out there it's like the zombie apocalypse that's what it's like that's where that uh, term applies in our society now so people you need to you need to uh, ban with uh, kindred souls uh, people that are aware, people that not only come in from a uh, logical point of view and a strategic point of view, but also come in from a spiritual point of view. Spirituality, okay, raising that frequency above the mundane uh, mentality and calcified uh, trap that you're in in your own mind. Start thinking outside the box. Start thinking about outside the envelope here, people. Start looking at history. Start looking back. Start seeing him. And let me touch on another thing here, too. I mean, no, this is going to be a long video, but I haven't done one in a while. Let me touch upon this, this issue with uh, people going around and tearing down statues. Hello? Now, my people had a big problem with Custer. Would I want a, uh, a statue of Custer uh, torn down? No. Hell no. I want that, that statue to be there so that we can talk about what went down. We can talk about history. We have a record. Now, these people that are going around and tearing down all these uh, supposedly, quote-unquote, uh, 
fascist Nazi uh, statues of Robert E. Lee, and now they're even talking about uh, George Washington and Thomas Jefferson. And, uh, and I read the other day where some theater in uh, Tennessee refused to show Gone with the Wind. Are you fucking kidding me? You see where this is going? This is like the book burnings in Nazi Germany. It's like the book burnings. It's like, uh, let's erase history. Let's create a new history. Let's create a new world order. Let's create everything is rosy because we're in control and we protect you and we won't hurt you. We'll just exterminate you. Don't fall for that one, people. Don't fall for that one. This is all in the same plan, the same uh, mission operation, if you will. This is a mission operation. It's a mission. It's uh, Missions are uh, propagated all the time in the world of spec ops people and the army and the CIA. They look at, look at this as a mission. Mission accomplished. We divided the people. Uh, we fucked with their heads. Uh, we, ma we, didn't, we made them so that they didn't know whether they were coming or going. We made it so they didn't know black from white. We made it so that they would join some radical organization on the left or the right because they felt disenfranchised. Oh, we're really good. Well, you're not so good. They they want uh, they want an they want an event. They will create an event in the United States, uh, like say the grid going down or uh, people getting a lack of food or catastrophes. They will create such a situations because they think that every man's hand is going to turn against his brother. That's not true. If you look at Katrina, I have faith in people. I have, in, I have faith that if the, if the grid went down and the shit went down, yeah, there'd be looting and there'd be rioting and there'd be people that flipped out. But there would be a core of people that have good hearts, that love their fellow man, that would reach out. It might surprise the globalists. It might backfire. Because the people like me and people of good-hearted nature that care about their fellow man and will fight for their fellow man with an honorable, uh, uh, as an honorable warrior, will defend their fellow man. And I wouldn't be surprised if that shit happened, that even uh, groups of people didn't form and form their own uh, security force to repel looters and uh, the people that are doing this. So no, I have a lot more faith in my fellow man than, uh, than I did before. When I see emergency situations, then I see, hey, yeah, you know, there is a goodness that is uh, within us, most of us, have a conscience, okay? And what they're doing right now to this country, what the deep state is and what the cabal is and what Google and YouTube is doing by uh, suppressing and limiting and censoring and doing all this, uh, I'm calling you out. You're, you're, you are treasonous, okay? to this country. I'm calling you out on it. And everybody else should too. Somebody's got to stand up. Don't they? So anyway, I guess I'll leave it there today. Some food for thought, people. Uh, something to think about. Something to reflect on. Something to research for yourself. Go out there and research the word hate. Go out there and research the unconventional warfare manual read it read how they go in read the insidious shit they do and that they're doing in this country against you open your eyes so i'll leave it there today this is thunder the desert shaman and uh, chief elder of the campfire council uh signing out now over and out